who came from the Father's bosom. Amen. Amen. The one who was sent by God the Father to come and establish the new covenant, the everlasting covenant. That is the one who answered them. Yes. And we're going to see what he said. Because what he said is what we're going to ask Justice Anthony, mm -hmm. and then Justice Breyer, and then Justice uh, Kagan, and Justice Sotomayor, and Justice Ginsburg. <laughs> if they have anything to say to God about that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's Amen. what we're going to you know, find out. Mm -hmm. After we've heard from God, hey. <laughs> oh, yes. after we've read, what God, when he became man, what he said about what Justice Anthony and the Supreme Court, okay, have ruled. Oh, Jesus. Amen. 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 I said, we're going to hear from God now. <laughs> Justice Anthony, <laughs> Amen. get ready and hear from God. Yes. In case you haven't read the Bible. <laughs> Amen. I tell yes, you, I get yes. so, so angry because of this wickedness. See, they, they have the right to rule on anything they want to rule, but not to tamper with God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Not to go against what God has said, you know, from eternity. Yes. When they wasn't even born, you see, I wish he had been born. You remember last time we said, uh, are you as old as I am? Then answer me, he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can rule on Obamacare. I didn't like it, but brother, I didn't make any fuss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. Rule whatever they want to rule. Right. It does not change the course of, of, of human life. Right. You hear that? Right. It does not tamper with human life as God said it. Right. You can still, you don't like Obamacare, you can still go to doctor. Mm -hmm. You don't like, you know, how they have rearranged the, 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 well, the doctors, right? <laughs> but it doesn't change the course of human life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They can rule between the, the labor unions and the government. It doesn't change the course of human life. They can rule anything. It doesn't affect the course of human life. But when they tamper with God Amen. and tell God that they are smarter than God, they are in trouble. Oh yes, yes. Amen. Real trouble. They are in trouble. Amen. They might as well repent right now before it is too late. Oh, yeah. Because they are headed towards destruction. I don't care what anybody says about what I'm saying. I know what God has said to me. Amen. That's why I'm talking like this now. Amen. I'm not joking with what you know what we're gonna hear. Because God came down and spoke yeah. about what Justice Anthony and the Supreme Court, what they have ruled. God came down and spoke about it. Amen. 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 Lord. Is, <laughs> is Jesus God or what? Yes, Amen. Yes. <laughs> Jesus oh, I tell you. You see, the church world, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay? Maybe I'm crazy. But I'm not just going to church. You see that? I'm not just going to church. I wasn't, you know, delivered from my, from my atheism so that I can go to church. Yeah. I was brought in to follow him. And to know him and make him known. Right. Yes. Well, thank you. you see that? Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I, I didn't come to church just to go to church. It is not traditions. It's not something we do on Sundays. Right. It's not religion. Right. It is God we are dealing with. Yes. He alone who has power to curse us or destroy us or to save us. Amen. Right. Yes. He alone has power to damn all human life. Or to save us. Amen. He is the one that came down and he said something about what the Supreme Court have done. He said something. Oh yeah. <laughs> you 
together and go so I can do a good announcement. <laughs> but I do it, that's a good job. Do you all listen? Amen. I'm right doing announcing it. I'm doing wow. He, he, he's preaching good now. I even like this introduction than what I preach. <laughs> Woo! The announcer is good than the preacher. Amen. Oh, that's gone. Says here, the Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him. And saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he, Jesus, God in the flesh, Emmanuel, God with us, he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? <laughs> Justice Anthony, Justice Bryan, Justice Kagan, Justice uh, Sotomayor, Justice Ginsburg. Jesus, when he came down here, God, Emmanuel, is asking you the same question he asked the Pharisees. Yes. Have you not read? Amen. <laughs> Have you not read that he the one who in who made them at the beginning, yes. who made them, the man and the woman, mm -hmm. the one who made them, but who made them? Is he the one? Is he not the one who made them? Yes, yes. Is he not the one who is talking, who created man and woman? Amen. Yes. Is he not this Jesus who is God in the flesh? Yes. Who came down here and is talking about marriage? Yes. And the Supreme Court have the audacity to stand up against Jehovah God. And I'm so, I'm so sad when I hear congressmen, when I hear senators, when I hear governors, when I hear, so oh, that's the law of the land. Who told you? That's right. Amen. Jesus. Who told you is the law of the land? Amen. Amen. How can you impose a wicked law? A blasphemous law that God Himself, you know, God Himself established. Amen. That's right. And you say the law of the land. Mm. Jesus. And you want to change the course of human life? Jesus. Have you not read? If you haven't read it, the five justices that ruled and wrote that abominable you know, uh, uh, decision, go back to Genesis and go and read it. Because there is no other book that tells us about the origin of human life. Amen. There is Amen. no other book, no science. No, Amen. no science. This is a big bang. Are you crazy? <laughs> a big bang? Amen. And then man came out of a big bang? Oh, Lord. You must be crazy in your mind to entertain those thoughts. That's right. Jesus. God came down and told us about marriage. He said, so haven't you read it? He said, he's asking. Those of you who want to support homosexual marriage, haven't you read it? Those pastors those evangelists, those so-called bishops, who made you bishop? Amen. That's right. Did God make you bishop over your church? Mm -hmm. And you want to go against him? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord. The Lord is asking all the men of God, have you not read, those of you who want to support a homosexual marriage, the Lord is asking because he came down here. Jesus came down and lived among us. Amen. And he said these words. Oh. <laughs> Listen, if he hadn't come down, then maybe we'll, we'll, we can dispute. If God didn't come down as a man, then we can dispute. The guy came here. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. Came into 
existed through him. Yeah. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, yeah. and the life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness would not put up. And the word, the word became a man, became a human being. Just as Anthony, has thou not read it? Just as Briar, have you not read it? Just as Otomayor, just as Keg, just as Gisbert, have you not read it? Maybe you say, okay, no, I'm not a Christian, I'm a Jew. All right. Is it not in the Bible, in the Jewish Bible too? Amen. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, have you not read? <laughs> Maybe you don't go to the synagogue. You are a Jew, but you don't go to the synagogue. Well, it doesn't change the word. Amen. Amen. Mo Moses wrote it. <laughs> I heard it said, God wrote. God spake unto Moses, and Moses wrote it down. Moses met God face to face Amen. Yeah. on Mount Sinai. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Lord Jesus Christ said this. Have you not read, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Apostle, all you who take the side of homosexual marriage and you want to appease the devil. You want to appease the devil. You take the side of the devil against God. Then where are you going? You might as well not die. Because when you die, you ain't going to see this God. If you are a pastor that supports this abominable uh, 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 law of the Supreme Court, you might as well not, not, not die. Because when you die, you know where you're going. Jesus. This is how serious it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I tell you, the Supreme Court, I ain't got no beef for Supreme Court when they rule about the areas they have the right. right. Because we need, you know, Supreme Court to decide, mm -hmm. you know, about the areas where the law is not clear. But when it comes and law does not exist in the vacuum now, law now has some precedence. Right. Amen. Human life did not come, did not in a, in a, in a, uh, come out from a vacuum. Adam and Eve were created. Amen. Mm -hmm. They did not evolve mm -hmm. from a big bang. Amen. <laughs> it is only wicked minds that believe that foolishness. That's right. Amen. If you are a pastor, I pray that God speaks to the pastors and gives them backbone, yes. yeah. backbone of steel so that they can lead the church in the path of righteousness, yes. not to compromise. Yes. Jesus, I may not finish what Jesus said. He said, <laughs> he said have ye not read? that he which made them at the beginning made them male mm. and female. Mm. Yes. He made them male and female. Mm. But who is talking? Amen. That is God Almighty. Come on. Right. <laughs> Amen. The one who created us Amen. is talking about his own handiworks. And he's telling us what he did in the beginning. He came down here, you see. Homosexuals have no excuse. Amen. Right. <laughs> Homosexuals, you have no excuse at all whatsoever. You have no standing place before God, before the word of God, to justify your abomination. Amen. Because it is an abomination. Yes. Amen. He that opposes the word of God opposes God. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh my goodness. Do pastors, Pastor Fish was, was, was talking to me, said, 
there were, he heard he heard some pastors they said they're gonna get ready a few pastors are gonna get ready and come together and think about how they are going to you know promote the homosexual agenda in their oh. church are you crazy pastor yes. mm -hmm. lord help Jesus. oh lord have mercy yes lord <laughs> jesus <laughs> jesus said have you not read or are you willfully blind that you don't want to read? Or have you read and you willfully want to oppose me? Says Jesus. Says God. Oh my goodness. God Almighty asked, have ye not read? <laughs> oh my goodness. And they said, he that made them, made them male and female, and said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, mm -hmm. and shall cleave yeah. to his wife. Mm. And the two, the two is made of what? Mm -hmm. A man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Remember who is talking? Remember the, the, what the creator, he is the one who is talking about what he did yeah. and how he did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Justice Anthony, I love you. Uh, Justice Brian, I love you. Justice Kagan, I love you. Justice uh, uh, Sotomayor, I love you. King. Justice Ginsburg, I love you. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no beef against you. I pray that you repent before it is too late. Amen. I pray that you dare repent because they will be damned yeah. for this very one wickedness, for this very one perversion, this very one abomination that they have enthroned in the land of America. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, <Lord. laughs> Come to fire. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, I love them. I don't hate nobody. Amen. I cannot hate anybody. No. It's impossible. But I cannot shut up knowing truth. Amen. But who can? Uh, uh, it was Amos who said that the Lord God, he said that the lion has roared. Mm -hmm. And who but can prophesy? Amen. <laughs> The Lord God has spoken, and who will not prophesy? Yes, amen, amen. We can only prophesy what God has said. Yes, That's right. And God has said it here. Amen. So we can prophesy and tell them the consequences of judgment yes. upon those who oppose God's word yes. and God's law. I wish they had they had ruled on some other thing and then they are they are free. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Come I on. wish they had said, hey, listen, uh states, you take it over and you try to work, let each state you know yes, try to amen. work it out. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right. And the states had already voted. That's right. right. Amen. Yes, Come on. Right. About 35 states okay. had or, already voted and said we don't mm -hmm. recognize homosexual marriage. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. I wish they had said, okay, all right, all right, states, let each state, you know, work things out. Exactly, exactly. Because we cannot go there. Mm. Right. Because we don't want to be enemies of God. Right. right. Exactly. But right now, they have risen against God. Come on. And told God that they will go against what Almighty God came down here and affirmed. Amen. Told us that he created man and woman. Amen. If God hadn't come down, like when the Lord was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he came down. Amen. Yes. He came down. Amen. <laughs> so I'm going to go down <laughs> and I'm going to see. Mm -hmm. God came down, lived in our midst for 33 years. Yes, and he spoke and he laid down the foundations of the word of God. Mm -hmm. He affirmed what Moses said. Because he gave the word to Moses. 
I don't, I don't see how any true man of God can be quiet. That's true. I mean, I, I, I don't see how. And say, ah, it is the law, and it's the law of the land. Who are you talking about? The law of the land. And so you accept abomination. And you submit your life, your whole spirit life depends on this word. Depends on who you are. I am a man, I'm not a woman. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hear me? My wife is a woman, not a man. Amen. Right. That is how God created us. Amen. A man and a woman, male and female. Not two males, not two females. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Says, <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so glad he came down. I tell you, I'm so glad we have we have authority. Amen. We have. <laughs> when you stand on what Jesus said, you are on safer ground yes, right. than what the Supreme Court says. Right. <laughs> you know, when I was in the cemetery, uh, in the seminary, you know, some of the professors, you know, my Old Testament, you know, professor, he was trying to teach us some stuff, some stuff, some science, <laughs> some science, some method, how you can, you can discern who wrote Bible. <laughs> yeah, J, J, I don't know what I know, but yeah, yeah, J, E, P, D, J, E, P, D, you can apply that, you can see what that, what a, what a Moses wrote or who wrote or who wrote. So one day, they, they are in prison teaching his stuff. That thing is boiling my soul. So I lift my hand. I said, Doctor. <laughs> I said, here. You are telling us that Moses did not uh, write the Pentateuch. The five you know, books of Moses. He says, Moses didn't write it. Some rabbi, some this, some that. I said, okay. I said, but I read in the New Covenant, when Almighty God became man <laughs> and walked in our midst, this is what he said. He said, if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me because Moses wrote about me. So you and Jesus, who do I believe now? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus is saying Moses wrote it. Amen. But you say Moses didn't write. Mm. Who do I listen to? Mm. Supreme Court? Who do I obey? You or Jesus? Mm. Mm. Amen. That is the part of my brother. Amen. They have set themselves up to be God. That's, right. That's what they have done. Yeah. And therefore the judgment of God is upon these five Supreme Court justices mm. who have written this abominable law and imposed it on the nation. They have become stumbling blocks to believers. Amen. Therefore, will the judgment of God come down swiftly upon them unless they repent of their wickedness and they openly confess that they have been abominable in the sight of God and renounce their decrees. That's the only way they will be safe. Brother, this is your business. Mm -hmm. yes, this, what they have done, affects the church. Yeah. Affects what the church you know, must do. Mm -hmm. That's what they are trying to do. Mm -hmm. To force the church That's right. to, to perform higher. Yes. To perform wow. a marriage mm -hmm. that is abominable in the nostrils of God. Amen. Brother, you better be ready to go to jail. Yeah. Because we are coming there. Right. Come on. Yeah. We are going to all go to jail. Because we will never affirm that homosexual marriage is acceptable in the eyes of God. Amen. We will never accept it. We will never perform homosexual marriage. Woe be to the pastor. Woe be to the so-called man of God who will perform a homosexual marriage. You are oh. damned. Oh, yeah. You have damned yourself. Jesus. Amen. 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 
Are we? It's, <laughs> brother, <laughs> there are times I wonder, I say, wow. I say, Lord, how did Jeremiah, how did Isaiah, how did them prophet, how did they say some weird stuff, brother? They said they say some dangerous stuff. Amen. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Brother, and they were willing to die for it. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put Jeremiah into, into, a, into a pit for prophesying the word of God to a wicked king. So, all right, I'll be here. Put me in here. I'll go there. I'm not going to fight you because I didn't speak for man. And I spoke from God. Yes, and God knows how to deal with you wicked men. Yes, yes. You Come wicked on. kings. Come on. So God knows how to deal with the Supreme Court. That's right. yes. And he will deal with yes. them swiftly. Yes. I tell you, I promise yes. every man of God, brother, yes. sister, be faithful yes. to God. Yes. Do not fear their faces. No. Amen. Yes. Do not give in to wickedness. Because if you do that, you'll be damned. Here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm so glad he came. He came down here. <laughs> uh, to protect us. <laughs> because when we speak for him, we are safe. Yes. When we stand, you know that woman is safe? That's right. That woman who said, I cannot, I like what she said. Two homosexuals went to her. He said, We want to have marriage certificate. He said, I don't do that. She said, I'm not going to hold you. She said, by what authority? By what authority? She said, by God. Hey I said, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. I said, bless her, Father. Amen. Bless this woman for standing up for what is right in the eyes of God. Amen. Is America no longer a Christian nation? Amen. Are we devils now? No. Have we become a devil nation? Is God no longer the God of America? He still is. Amen. 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 Oh, my <laughs> well, I don't think I have, I've got a lot of stuff to say. A lot of, <laughs> God, <laughs> because this the Holy Ghost born in my soul all the last two, three months. <laughs> I said, God, I preached it. There are plenty of devil. I say, son, when you go preach. Mm. So I'm going to be faithful and preach. Amen. Amen. He says here, yeah, and he said, Jesus said, Almighty God said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Yes, 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 yes. Wherefore, they are no more two, but one flesh. Amen. And now listen. What therefore, Jesus, Oh my God, look at the warning that he, that he issued. Jesus issued a warning. What the Ayondo Kaburi Kambasi, Mando, what therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Oh, Amen. What, did join, what did God join? Or what does he join? A man and a woman. A male and a female. That's how God joins. That is the order of the land from, from eternity. Therefore, anyone who goes contrary to this, what God has joined, and he wants to put it asunder, and then join something else, he is under damnation. In the name of Jesus. What God has ordained that a male and a female are to be joined together in what he called marriage. Amen. Because he was the first one to perform marriage. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus yes. was the first one because he was with the Father God. Yes. And he was, he's God Almighty. I and the Father are one. Yeah. So he's God Almighty. And he came down here. And he affirmed the principle of marriage between man and a woman. And he warned, what I, the Lord, have joined, uh, yes, God. what I, the Lord, have ordained, let no man dare unjoin it. Amen. Come on. Oh, yes. And that's what the Supreme Court has done. They have dead Amakuba. Are they God? Do they have the arm of God? 
Can they stand before God and justify this wickedness? Woe unto the one who shall surrender to this wickedness. Brother, we are going to see. I have a lot to say. When, when, when you have to disobey a wicked and, a, and, and, and an unrighteous law so that you can obey God, Hear me now. When you have to disobey in order to obey God, expect that you will be punished. Mm. <laughs> I, have gone, I have joined ahead, but I want to just warn you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you are called upon to disobey an unrighteous, wicked, abominable law, that directly opposes the law of God, which you are commanded by God to obey, the law of God. Amen. But the devil imposes a wicked, unrighteous, abominable law when you are called upon to disobey an unrighteous law so that you can uphold the truth of God's word, expect that you will suffer. Yes. Yes. It goes with the territory because God will have to purge the house. Amen. God will have to see who is on the Lord's side, Amen. who is willing for his sake to stand up and not compromise. Yes. The healer say, if you deny me, I will deny you also. Yes. And you knowing that he said that, are you going to bow to the homosexual devils? Are you going to submit to what the Supreme Court says you should do? Yeah. And dishonor God? No. Then you might as well go to hell right away. Yes, right. Because yeah. that's where you'll be going. You deny Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that you can appease homosexuals. Mm -hmm. Then you are in trouble. That is why there is suffering coming. That is why there are problems coming to the house of God. That is why the devil is raging to stop the church. But ananda, da, 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 there shall rise up in Zion yeah. the Lord our God in Mount Zion with a flame of fire in his wings to fill the house of God. Yes. It's not man who is speaking. It is God Almighty. That's right. He says, what I have joined, what I have ordained, that marriage will be between a man and a woman. Let no man, I don't care who you are, let no man go contrary to it. Amen. Why did he say? Because when you do that, you are invoking divine judgment and divine wrath. You will be destroyed. Only one basis you have now. Mm. Repent of your wickedness. Yes. Ask for mercy. Turn from your wicked ways. And submit to God. Rescind that wicked, mm -hmm. wicked law. And then God will show you mercy. Yes. But if you don't, you will be destroyed. See, that's the whole thing that breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. Justice Anthony, Justice, Justice Kagan, Justice Breyer, Justice Sotomayor, Justice Ginsburg. Brother, if they don't repent and turn to God, they will be destroyed. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes. Come on. That is how serious it is. They, they think what they did is so cute. It's so cute. Opposing God. Oh, I'm yearning for the days of Elijah. I'm yearning for the days of Jeremiah. I'm yearning for the days of Paul. Yes, I'm yearning yes. for men of God to rise. Yes. Men of God are supposed to be the ones that rule the nation. That's right. Men of God. Because when they speak from God, nations must bow. Mm -hmm. yes. That's how low we have gone. Amen. Now men of God are silent. Men of God have no more voice. Men of God are scared of the devil. The devil, you know, you know, you know, lies to them and intimidates them, and they, they, they are cowered down like, like little mouse. Mm. And you serve an Almighty God. Lord, Jesus. Jesus, 
All right, let me go and let, let, let me just go, go back to uh, Genesis because Jesus is asking Justice Kennedy and, and his company, Have has thou not read? Okay, so let's go and see. Maybe they haven't read it. Let, let's read it and put it on the radio for them to hear. <laughs> right, so let's go there and ask Justice Anton whether he has read it <coughs> because he, 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 he's playing God. So he must have read it. And it's okay, God, you are wrong. <laughs> he must have read it and said, no, 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 this is wrong. Because you know what he said? <laughs> what he said, he said here, they have found a new insight into the nature of injustice. That is from the, from the Supreme Court ruling. I wrote it all down here. I read all of it. So, Justice Anthony says, the reason why he has to overturn no marriage being between a man and a woman, and they include homosexuals, is that they have found a new insight. That's what he says. They have found a new insight, okay, into the nature of injustice. Amen. As a result, the court invalidates the marriage laws of more than half the states. This is uh, Justice, uh, uh, Chief Justice writer, and then he's quoting what they say. They have found a new injustice, a new insight into the nature, quote and quote, quote and unquote, a new insight, and then quote and unquote, into the nature of injustice. And the nature of this injustice is that God did not include homosexuals in the marital bond. That's, that's why God is unjust. Can you, can any, any reasoning human being dare to say this? What do they think? No wonder, no, yeah, yeah, more, 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 more. no wonder the Supreme, uh, the Chief Justice asked them, just who do we think we are? That's right. Who who do we think we, Supreme Court, just say, who do we think we are to take, to take up on God and to go and confront God and tell God in his face, you are wrong. I don't think it, the wickedness of what they have done, I don't think it has dawned on them. <laughs> there is no fear of God in their eyes. They think they think they can just impose anything that comes into their mind upon this thing. This thing ain't going nowhere. They will be judged by God. For you mark the word. Yes. I won't be surprised if they all remove one at one day. All five are gone for the wickedness of this ruling. Man. You see, the days are coming before before the rapture comes. The Lord will have a people that stand for God, yes. in whom the works of God are made manifest, yes. in whom the voice of God will be clearly spoken, and nations will tremble, because the Lord will not rapture us, just hiding us on a little corner, hey guys, come, 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 let us come, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, oh no, oh no, he ain't gonna do that brother, he's gonna give us a demonstration of his power, yeah. and his glory, yeah. before them devils, Amen. Amen. before the unbelieving world, they will know the power of God is alive, and Christ Amen. is alive, Amen. before he raptures the church, there will be a mighty display of divine power, Amen. there will be men and women of God, that are raised up by God, with power and authority and dominion, to lead the church, yeah. Amen. Amen. the modern preachers are backslidden, the modern preachers have followed mammon. The love of money has, has, has shut their eyes. Their hearts, they have exercised in greed and covetousness. Therefore, they are blind. I know I'm in trouble. But I would rather die right now go to heaven. How about that? Kill me, I, I go home. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's take over the 8th of Denver Okay, let's see what, what since uh, Justice Anthony has not read it, 
Let's read it on the, on the radio. <laughs> and God said, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Because Jesus said in Matthew 19, Have you not read? That's what Jesus asked. Have you not read it? So let's go back there and read what he was talking about. Amen. Okay, because he, he created man. And he knew exactly what he caused Moses to write. Right? And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion. Okay? Over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl, and all that. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female created he them. This is the narrative of the, of the creation story. Yes. This is what Jesus was referring to when he was asking Justice Anthony, Has thou not read? Justice Ginsburg, has thou not read? I didn't create two males. I didn't create two females. Amen. I created a male and a female, and then I give my commandment. Now let's go to chapter 2. Chapter 2, okay, verse. Are you there with me? Amen. Uh, okay, verse 18. And the Lord God said, verse 18, it is not good that the man should be alone. Because Adam came first. And God said, it's not good for Adam to be alone. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to create the woman too. It is, I'm, I'm going to create another man. <laughs> Say it here. It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a, a help. A help meet for him. In other words, I will make him a helper that is suitable, adapted, complementary for him. Not another man now. <laughs> another man cannot compliment another man now. <laughs> okay, come for verse verse 20. And Adam gave names to, to, to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to, the, to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help that was suitable for him. And so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead, of, instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he another man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Wrong. No. Huh? Is that what he says? No. He took the rib from Adam, a man, and they made another man. <laughs> the rape which he took from, from, from man, he made a woman yes. and brought her unto the man. Yes. God brought a woman to a man. Yes. He did not bring a man to a man. Just as Anthony, have you read? Jesus is asking you, just as Anthony, before you made your decision, before you wrote your brilliant <laughs> opinion, did you read what I did? Or did you choose to ignore me? They told Paul that it was Festus who told Paul. Said, Paul, too much learning, too much PhD made you mad, made you crazy. I think this is what it is. In the case of the Supreme Court, you're ruling too much learning. That's right. Too much smartness. They want to be smart. Now they become crazy fools. Says she, and, and God brought head unto the man, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. He shall be called another man. <laughs> huh? no. Is that why he says, I'm called another man? No. <laughs> he shall be called a woman, Aisha. Ish is ish is is man. Ish, Aisha is woman. So I will make God Adam. Wow, I am Ish. That is Aisha. 
Ayando! Ayando! Ah, ah, I am ish. No, Lord, that has to be Aisha. Because I am ish. Yeah, I don't have to know that you are eating no wisdom. <laughs> oh, yeah, Baruka! <laughs> this is something, have you read it now? I tell you, it is the height, the height of folly for the Supreme Court of the United States, unite, not even Africa, somewhere in Africa or somewhere in some village, let the Supreme Court do some foolishness, but not the Supreme Court of the United States, mm -hmm. for them to write this abominable law, mm -hmm. impose it upon the people. And we call ourselves the first America. Is America so crazy? Have we become so foolish a nation that we accept such a wicked law? And we say that is the law of the land. Well, who told you? It might be your law, but it's not my law. That's right. Because yeah. my law that I hope abide by tells me God made a man and a woman. Yes, yes he did. From the Chinese to the Russian to the Aztecs to the Carthaginians to all the Indonesians, everywhere around the globe, all those who have ever lived, marriage has always been between a man and a woman. Amen. Yes. Amen. Ah. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. In other words, this is what makes my bone sweet. Mm -hmm. This one made my flesh go. <laughs> this one, whatever I am, the woman makes it better. I <laughs> know. A man can make me better. It's a woman that will make me better. You hear me now? In reality, women make men better. Oh, Amen. men Amen. don't accept this yeah. truth. Come on. <laughs> 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 Did you <laughs> uh, if women don't make men better, why then is it said in the word of God that the woman is the glory of man? Ayodo! <laughs> if the woman is your glory, then it means there's something that you lack. And she brings it out. She brings, I know, brother, I know it so well. Because what I am now, I am no, I am no, God gave me a woman that made it come out. I am now. Are you back? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I tell you, that is the value of women. They make men better. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. And you get up and you bruise it. You say you want another man. What are you, what are you talking about? Come on. My <laughs> ah, Jesus. How can one woman make another woman better? And how can one man make another man better? It cannot. In the wisdom of God, it takes a woman to make man better. Amen. That's why I said I'm going to make him a help that is suitable for him. Yes. That is complimentary. He said, Adam's question, wow, this is the bone of my bones. <laughs> With the flesh of my flesh, yes. brother, he was taken out of me and he makes me softer. Adam, Karaka. Adam, how am I going? God, don't worry, I got me a name. What name I don't want to see? I go, why, why you give me a brain? You <laughs> shall be called Aisha. I am a... Wow, Adam, how did you know that? Because when I look at her, something gets through my bones. <laughs> <laughs> something goes through my pain. She makes me softer. Uh, if not, I am, I am Moses, all full of bones and muscles. <laughs> I am do my goodness. That's something did you read the story? <laughs> did you read this before you penned your brilliant decision? 
which God calls abomination, which everyone who knows God calls it wicked. So this is what Jesus was referring to. He says, have you not read that in the beginning, all right, he who made them, made them man and a woman, male and female. Then he said, for this cause, here, here's what it is. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his man. <laughs> Brother, I don't care what homosexuals say. I don't care what the lesbians say. Two men can cleave. <laughs> Two women cannot cleave. Amen. God, it is not in the nature of two men to cleave and two women to cleave. It takes a man and a woman. That is how God ordained it. Cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And that's something. Now, let me go back now and read what, 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 uh, what they have said, what the Supreme Court said. Uh, no, no, before I go there, come, come to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter. Isaiah chapter 8. Let's see what, what, uh, uh, the, the nature of what they have done. Okay, the nature of what they have done. Let's yeah. look at it. Isaiah chapter 8. Ah, Jesus. No, no, it's, it's chapter 10, 10, rather. Chapter 10. Chapter 10, Isaiah. Okay? Mm -hmm. They have they have issued forth their decree. Alright? And they have imposed it upon the nation. Right? And uh, they are commanding us to submit to a crooked and a wicked and abominable law. Okay? Which violates the very laws of God by which we abide as Christians. You cannot live the Christian life when this very foundation is distorted. You cannot, according to Justice Anthony, you cannot be a man and be a Christian. You have to be you know, a homosexual. You cannot be because they are forcing you to go against what you are. Amen. I am a male. I am a man. I am not a woman. Mm -hmm. You hear me now? My wife is not a man. God made her a woman. And God joined us together Amen. according to his divine purposes. Mm -hmm. God never joined two men together. God never joined two women together. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 So anything that goes contrary, listen to what it is. Woe to those judges, Supreme Court justices, and the judges of the nation. Woe to the judges, those judges who are amplified, who issue unrighteous decrees. What is the woe for? Damnation. What is the woe for? Danger, wrath, woe be unto you because of what you have issued for. An unrighteous decree, a wicked and abominable decree. You want to pervert my ways and impose your ways upon the nation. I don't know whether they are homosexuals or not. I don't know. See, I don't know. But if, 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 I won't be surprised if, if someone said, they are, I, I don't know. Mm. I hope they are married. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they are married. If they are married, why, why don't you then go and take another woman if you're a woman? Why, why, why don't you go and take another, another man? Why do you want to stay married, man to a woman, a woman to a man, and you promote homosexuality? You see how wicked it, it is? Amen. You don't want it. <laughs> but you want others to have it. Mm -hmm. And you want us to recognize it. Yes. 
knowing fully well that God hates it. And we know this God. We are yeah. born of him. We don't just go to church. We are born of God by the spirit of God. Amen. Our sins are forgiven. We know Jesus Christ as our creator, as our redeemer, as our savior, as the one who gives life to us. Why do you want to force us to uh, abide by a wicked law? I pronounce the woe upon the Supreme Court. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Mm. I pronounce this woe upon the judges of the, of, uh, of the nation who promote that wickedness. Woe be unto the judges of this yes, nation. Yes. Yes, woe unto all of them. For the wickedness which they are promoting, the judgment of the Lord is at the door. Yes. I didn't write it, so don't look at me like I'm, I'm some weird man. Woe to those judges who issue unrighteous decrees, and to the magistrates who keep causing unjust and oppressive decisions to be recorded. Is that not true? Amen. Is this this is not not recorded? Amen. The Supreme Court is recorded yes. in the Book of Laws. For this nation, but God said, Woe be unto you. Amen. And woe be unto any minister who will promote this. Woe be unto any pastor who will promote this homosexual abomination in the house of God. If you don't want to honor God, then say, God, I don't want to honor you, but don't be a pastor of my church. Go and start your own church. And promote your homosexual agenda. Amen. But don't stand in my house and bring that abomination. Amen. That's right. Amen. For that said the Lord, any minister of mine that will defy me, his condemnation shall be swift. Amen. 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 You know, you know I tremble. But the Holy Spirit is saying, you know. No, no, oh, we all want to give you a book, you all don't read. <laughs> God calling, he said, listen, yeah. I need the reason why I have to purge and cleanse your life so that your life will be pure. If I, because if I don't do that and I give you my power, you will rely on my power to call into being things I don't ordain. Amen. Yes. And you hear me now? Amen. You rely on my power to, to bring in, into existence things that I have not ordained. So that's dangerous. Amen. That is why a lot of false prophets they are, uh, end up being damned. Because they use the, the name of the Lord to, 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 to do all kinds of stuff. I know, listen, listen, when Rick Joyner stood at the judgment seat, one of the things that he, uh, he saw when one of the men was talking to him about his judgment seat uh, experience. He said, wow, I realized that a lot of the things that I was doing, I was using the name of the Lord for my own purposes. Whoa. Whoa, I was using the name of the Lord to advance my own ministry. He says, the grief that came upon me when that was passing before my eyes as I stood in the glorious light of heaven. The grief. Say so you cannot understand the grief when you are exposed in the eyes of God. So when we are serving God, our spirits must be clean. <coughs> okay? This, this, this is no light business. To pronounce judgment, to shut and then and then and then open. You don't play with it unless unless God has allowed you to walk that realm. Mm -hmm. The reason why we don't have men of God now with authority, because they don't want God to expose them. Because God has to expose you. Your crookedness, your perversions. God has to clean house. This is his house, brother. Yes. He lives inside me. I cannot do. 
I cannot do what I will. Amen. <laughs> Some of you don't understand. I cannot do what I will. I, tr I must obey him. Amen. Yes. I have to obey him. Yes. On, you see, the deeper you go, the more you lose your freedom. <laughs> So-called freedom. You don't know that without him you are a slave. <laughs> without him, okay, if you don't know him deeper, you are still bound by all kinds of stuff that you serve. All kinds of desires. You serve them. You don't even know you are, you are enslaved to them. So you have to go deeper to be free. Once you are free, then you begin to know freedom. Amen. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. Yes. I read in Final Quran, you said there is a freedom which comes when you know truth. When you know truth, when my word is revealed to you, it frees you. But there is also another realm of freedom when I myself free you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know yes. when my presence frees you. Yes. You see that? Mm -hmm. When the presence of God frees you, it snaps all the bonds. Mm -hmm. It snaps them all and right. now you are, you are attached to him. Ah, what a life. <laughs> what a joy, brother. Yes, God. Ah, Yamamu. <laughs> Christianity is not church going. Amen. That's right. It's not activity. It's a life yeah. of intimate communion with our God. Yes. He's yes. offered himself to us. Yeah. Here am I. Yes, God. I am the gift that came from heaven. That a man may receive me and live forever. Yeah. I am the life that keeps on giving. Yes. I am the water that keeps on flowing. I am the peace that never ends. Amen. I am the love that surpasses all human intelligence. Yes. I am the strength that is everlasting strength. Mm -hmm. We are called to know Jesus. You're <laughs> one of my <laughs> one of my deepest quests deepest longing that I keep on asking God. I want to know so that I can make you know. Yeah. That's what I care about. Yes. I want to know so that I can I can present you for who you are. That's all. Yeah. I don't care about money. I don't care about riches. I don't care about nothing that this world offers. I just want to know Jesus, yes. enjoy him, Amen. be at peace deep in my being, mm -hmm. and then be available to him. Yes. And then when I stand before these people, I must make it known that the only thing I hear from God, make me known, speak about me like you know. Yes. Don't talk foolishness. Amen. Amen. Present me alive to my people, yes. and then let them come to me. So that they can have what I point to you. I am Musa. Yes. 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 Because if you don't yes. see, when I read John G. Lake, when I read Smith Wilkerson, when I read uh, uh, Paul, when I, you know what it does? Because of how they walk a new God, my spirit is drawn to God. Amen. I want to know him like they did. Amen. You see that? Amen. That is the essence of ministry. Yeah. It's not preaching. Yes, for Amen. preaching sake. But preaching to stir up holy emotions in the hearts of the people so that they also will be drawn to their God. That is, you remember, remember the judgment of uh, the, that we read about one of those guys in the final question? He said they gave, the Lord gave him great gifts to use on earth. But instead of using it, you know, to build up the life of the people, he used it to draw people to himself. Amen. He drew people where they are not the Holy Ghost to him, himself. Can there be any, any abominable no, no motive like that? Draw people, not to Jesus, but to himself. May God help you. 
if you are a minister, may God help you. You know, you know John, John the Baptist. <laughs> he said, Behold, behold the Lamb of God. That's all he did. That's that the greatest thing he did for Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Now, Peter and John and James and Andrew, some of them were his disciples. Some of them were, were working with John the Baptist now. Mm -hmm. right. And Jesus bore wonderful testimony to John the Baptist. He said, listen, you know, among the men that were born of women, there had never been anyone greater than John the Baptist. In other words, John the Baptist is greater than Moses. John the Baptist greater than Moses. I didn't say that. Jesus said it. Amen. He said, there has never been any man, okay, that was born of, of, of a woman greater than John the Baptist. Yes, Lord. Uh, <laughs> John the Baptist was born with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and that made him be born again before he was born. <laughs> 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 oh, Amen. <my> <laughs> yeah, said, of all those that came out of women, there has never been one greater than John the Baptist. You see that? And yeah, listen to John the Baptist. Amen. Andrew them and, and all that they were his disciples. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yeah, and yeah. he stood over there and said, Behold, <laughs> when he saw Jesus coming, he said, Behold the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. When they heard it, they was gone. <laughs> they said, hey, hold on, where you going? Hold on. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. Well, that's what we do. That's what ministers do. Yeah. They don't want to let go. Of the sheep that God is calling. Amen. Yes. They don't want to release them to go where God wants them to go. Amen. John the Baptist said, Hey, listen, that is the guy that you need. Amen. But John, oh no, no, no. I'm just a friend. Amen. I'm just a friend. He is the one that you need. Yes, come on. May God Yay. help you to be able to point by your ministry people to Jesus. Now yes. people to church, people yes. to Jesus. Yes. Let Jesus send them where he wants. Yes. Yes. Right. Come on. Thank you, Lord. You go to a church. Listen, you go to a church. If God sent you to a church for say, listen, you don't go there forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't go there forever and ever. Amen. The reason why it becomes forever and ever because you your ears are shut. You don't hear him when his purposes for sending you there are over. Amen. I learned this from Smith Wigglesworth. He said when he began for the Holy Ghost, he heard that some church that had Holy Ghost. So he was in one church. They had the word but no Holy Ghost. So they had the wood but no fire. So <laughs> So I left him. The Lord said, come out from among them. Yes. He said, Lord, where am I going? He said, come, I'll lead you somewhere. They said, the Lord brought me to a church. I heard they had the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It was far in advance of what I used to have. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on now. It was in advance of what I used to have in my former church, he says. Mm -hmm. So I went there. I got Holy Ghost. Yeah. I got Holy Ghost for far better, brother. And I sat there for a season. And it was good. I was growing. I was growing. And then the people sat down. They don't want to march no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They settled in their, in their tents. Uh -huh. That's how far they can go. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't hearing any more, any more Holy Ghost stuff no more. Mm -hmm. It was dying. Then I said, come on among them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I came out from about four or five churches yes. before I got where God wants me to be. Come on, yeah, man. Right. Yeah. Thanks, right. Come on, Thank you, Lord. Some of you may go help you. <laughs> One day I'll be gone. <laughs> you better get what you were you were sent here to get. Amen. And I thank God for Pastor Fields. Amen. But the guy is hungry for God. Yes. When I'm gone, Pastor Fields will stay. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing that? Yes. Amen. Amen. John the Baptist pointed them to Jesus. Amen. And he didn't fight with John and Andrew and say, Hey brother, go. He's the guy you need, Amen. not me. Amen. I'm not even worthy to, to stoop down and untie his shoes. He got Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't baptize with Holy Ghost. But John, your teaching is good. I know it's good, but I don't give Holy Ghost. Amen. But you need Holy Ghost. Go to the guy who has Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Are you hearing me now? Yeah. Jesus, John says, listen, 
John the Baptist was not the light. He was not the light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. He was sent to bear witness of the light. And we are sent to bear witness of the light. And the light of Jesus Christ. Bear witness, not just by preaching only, but by your conduct. Did I, oh, did I not read, did I not read from, from God at even time? The, the various thing Jesus said you should you should do to bear witness to him yeah. by your uncompromised faith in him, Thank by your life bearing witness to him, by the presence of God in your being, by the Holy Ghost dwelling inside yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Says here, woe to yes. those judges who issue unrighteous decrees. And to the magistrates who keep causing unjust and oppressive decisions to be recorded. There is, there is, there is a conspiracy going on across this land among the judges of the earth. The judges of the United States. Okay, they have banded together to promote the homosexual agenda. To promote homosexual agenda. So they rule against righteousness. They rule against the godly. They rule against the righteous. But the Bible says, Woe be to the judges. Woe be to the magistrates. The judges who issue unrighteous decrees. And to the magistrates who keep causing the unjust and oppressive decisions to be recorded. To turn aside the needy from justice and to make plunder of the rightful claims of the poor of my people. That widows may be their, may be their spoil and that they may make the fatherless their prey. Whoa. Whoa. Listen. Well, here's the warning. And what will you do? You just, you judges. You Supreme Court Justices, you Magistrates of the Line, what will you do in the day of visitation of God's wrath? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, Lord. What will you do when I come down to judge? Mm -hmm. Will you still oppose me? Will you still uh, perfect the right ways of the Lord when I am before you judging you? Can you stand? Mm -hmm. So God says, what will you do? In the day of visitation of God's wrath, <laughs> and in the desolation which shall come from afar, to whom will you flee for help? And where will you deposit for safekeeping your wealth? And with whom will you leave your glory? My Jesus. <laughs> come to chapter 5, Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. Oh my Are you there with me? Amen. Look at verse 20. We are talking about the impact you know, of the Supreme Court uh, ruling on, uh, on the homosexual agenda. Okay? And the judgment of God that is coming. Jesus. Says, verse 20, Woe unto them! Hmm. Ha, ma, 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 ma. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. That is exactly the Supreme Court of the United States. Wise in their own eyes. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to make a strong drink, which justify those who justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Mm. Instead of ran rendering righteous decrees so that the righteous can walk therein, they take the righteousness of the righteous from him. Oh. Look at what they did to this woman that they threw into the jail. Just because she loves God. What is her sin? 
because you will not obey an unrighteous law. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. It's not it's not any other law that he says you will not obey. This is a law that is directly calculated to dishonor God. And she knows God. And yeah. she serves yeah. God. Yeah. How can yeah. she abide by that wicked yeah. law? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. Mm. Say, those who justify the wicked for a reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as the fire devours the stubble and as the flame consumes the chaff so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall be as dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord God of hosts and despise the word of the Holy One of Israel that's what it's waiting for the Supreme Court and that is what is waiting for every wicked judge of the land. Every judge that will knowingly pervert, knowingly promote homosexual agenda and force the people to abide by unrighteous law and cause them to stumble and put them into jail just because they will not soil their conscience. They will not defile their heart. They will not compromise their faith in the living God. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Good. Woe. Woe to the judges. Yes. Woe to the Supreme Court. Yes. I tell you, they may, they, may, they, they may smile now and have a good time, but it's coming. Oh, That's yes. right. There is yes. judgment coming to the yes. Supreme Court yes. for yes. this one wickedness. Then they will know there's a God. Right. Yes, right. yes, yes. When they when they are judged right there, then they realize, oh my goodness. Then they will know how to tremble now before God. That's right. Jesus. All right. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Let's come to Acts of the Apostles. I want to show you something. Acts of the Apostles. All right. We've got plenty of time. We'll finish it. All right. Now, because of the nature of this law. Okay, no, no, even before that, let me read. Let me read. Before I go to Acts, let me read uh, just uh, the Chief Justice again about what the Supreme Court decision is. Okay, and then the implication for us. The implication for us. All right. Chief Justice uh, Roberts wrote this again. He says here, today's decision that is from his uh, uh, dissenting opinion. Today's decision, for example, creates serious questions about religious liberty. Mm -hmm. That is Chief Justice Roberts, about religious liberty. Many good and decent people oppose same-sex marriage as a tenet of faith. Mm -hmm. As part of their faith, they oppose it. Okay. And they have freedom to exercise uh, uh, what religion is unlike the right imagined by the majority. Mm. <laughs> the right, they have freedom to exercise religion unlike the right that uh, the majority have imagined for the homosexuals. Mm. Okay? Mm. They have they have freedom to exercise religion is actually spelled out in the Constitution. Those of us who oppose, oppose homosexual marriage because it is part of our, it, it is our faith, our confidence, our walk with God prevents us from acknowledging that. Now, they might as well come and kill me because I'm not going to abide by it. Amen. Amen. I will not defile my conscience. No. I am a man of God. Yes. I know the living yes. God. Yes. The Lord God lives inside me. Yes. And I'm going to yes. take the Lord to affirm a homosexual abominable decree yes. by the, by the yes. Supreme yes. Court. Yes. I'm, I might as well die. Yes. Yes. That's where we are coming to. Yes. 
you are going to have to die for your faith. Mm. You are going to have to stand, That's right. Come on. go through punishment. Mm. Because that is where it is coming. Yes. I want to tell you something. In the, in the, in the, from the year 1550 to 1700 was the period of the Puritan movement. The Puritans of England. Those who for the sake of conscience will not compromise their faith. When they were being forced by uh, King Charles the First of you know, of, Linda, of, 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 uh, of Britain, they were being forced to compromise their faith. To all of them come together under the Anglican Church and uphold one way of worship, and they said no, and they said we will not bow. Yeah. You know the guy that wrote the Pilgrim's Progress Banyan. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all don't read nothing. <laughs> Banyan. That is how they imprisoned him. Because he refused to compromise his faith in God. Yes. He refused to soil his conscience. He said, I will stay in prison rather than coming out and you tell me to preach what you want. Yes. I will stay in jail. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hey. During that period, over 2,000 preachers refused to bow. And they went to jail for their faith. Yep. Come on. Amen. Jesus. <laughs> over 2,000 ministers were incarcerated because they would not compromise the truth of who Jesus is. They will not bow to King Charles the First. They will not bow to the Anglican Church. They said, no, we will not. So they were called non-conformists. Yeah. Non yeah. yeah. They don't conform. <laughs> Are you Baraka Musa? <laughs> Are you hearing me? Amen. That is how it was these guys, these guys that became the pilgrims of the United States for the early founding. They fled to come here so that they can have a place where there is no res restriction for their worship of God. And now the Supreme Court of the United States now tells us we cannot worship God without acknowledging homosexual marriage. What are they talking about? Have they drunk some wine? Yes, the wine of the world. I guess that's what they drank. To write that, that wicked decision. Yep. I know you all don't like my word, mm -hmm. but you all don't say amen. You scared? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to prepare you. <laughs> Listen, uh, Bunyan was in jail. He had four children. One was blind, the firstborn was blind. And his heart was attached to the blind daughter. But he said, I had to choose. I love my family. I love my, my blind child. It breaks my heart. But I cannot defile my conscience. I cannot defile my conscience. He said, I will stay in jail. Oh, brother, listen, he says, I had to struggle to come to the place where I can live upon God alone in jail. I lived upon God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ooh. When his wife, his wife was, was pregnant, okay, of another child, his, his first wife, you know, you know died. And then his second wife, you know, you know that he uh, married, was pregnant. Okay, when when they put him in jail, and then the, because of the of the pressure, of the torment, the woman miscarried. The woman miscarried, and this woman went to court, went to see the judges, to plead that they should set her, her husband free. Okay, they should set, set her husband free. 
So she went and said, Your Honor, I've come here. I've come to ask of you to release my husband from jail. He says, uh, why, why do you come here? He said, I come here because, uh, you know, because of the situation, I miscarried. And it's just too, too painful for me to see my husband. And then I have, I have a blind door. And uh, she needs her father. He says, uh, will he stop preaching when he comes out? <laughs> he said, Your Honor, my husband ain't stopping. <laughs> Amen. He said, My husband ain't stopping. He's doing good by the preacher. Amen. So he and she, he ain't stopping. So if he ain't stopping, then he'll stay in there. So well, he might as well stay because he ain't stopping. Amen. He stayed in jail for 12 years because of his faith. That is when the Pilgrim's Progress was written. And he wrote books out of the jail experience. Mm. <laughs> ah, the, the book is a book called The, the Fruit, The Fruit of Suffering. The fruit of suffering. Some of you don't like suffering. But it takes suffering to make the church strong. Some of you, you are, you are, you are, you are mollified. <laughs> Soft. Because barbecue sauce has softened your body. <laughs> barbecue dinners have softened your, your resistant power. <laughs> you can't resist for too long, then you bow. Only open pit, though. <laughs> Only open pit, sounds <laughs> so. Different kind of wasn't So, no, remember the Puritans. Those were, I tell you, some of the most amazing men of God came from that period yeah. in England. Yes. The purity of their preaching. Ah, my goodness. Go read them. Go find some of these guys oh, and see. See, they were strong. They wafted strong out of their out of their trials. They grew stronger instead of weakening. You see, and this thing that the Supreme Court had done, the law will judge them because of the wicked motive they had. Okay, but we are going to have to face it. Okay, you can compromise if you want. Okay, the choice is yours. But you face the Lord God on it. Amen. You don't compromise for man. You compromise you know, for the Lord. He that will deny me, I will deny him, he said. Okay? So now, let me read this. He says here, The majority graciously suggests that religious believers may continue to quote-unquote advocate and quote-unquote teach their views of marriage. The First Amendment guarantees, however, the freedom to, quote-unquote, exercise religion, not advocate religion, not teach religion, but exercise it. Amen. That's what Chief, the Chief Justice pointed out. He said, Justice Anthony said, the uh, believers can, uh, can continue to advocate. Oh, no. We don't advocate for nothing. This thing was given to us. This is our right to live our religious convictions in this Amen. nation called America. Amen. Yes. Come on. Amen. It is our right, our forefathers put it in the Constitution. That's right. Come yes. on. The right of free, free exercise of religion. That's yes. right. Not advocating, no, no. but exercising. Amen. 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 If you are advocating, it means you don't have it. Right. And you're trying to plead that it should be to you. Exercise me, you got it. Amen. Amen. It is yours. You are living in it. Mm -hmm. And just as Anthony, just in a slight, oh, a sly fox. That's who he is, a sly fox. Look at how he crafted it. He says here, ah, uh, Chief Justice uh, Roberts, you know, he did that's good. He says, the majority graciously, says Chief Justice Robert, graciously, suggest they suggest that religious believers may continue to 
quote and unquote advocate and quote and unquote teach their views. Teach their views of marriage. We can teach it and we can advocate it. Oh no. We must live it. Amen. And live it wherever we go. Amen. We carry our religion with us. Yes. Wherever we are. Yes. God is part of our being. Yes. God says we cannot approve we evil. We cannot approve evil wherever we find it. Amen. This is what Justice Anthony doesn't understand. Maybe he don't know God. And I doubt if he knows God. Because no man who knows God, who is born of God, will venture out with this wicked decision. He doesn't know the Lord God. The five justices who put forth this abominable law don't have any ounce of the reality of the life of Jesus Christ in their being. Amen. If they did, they will not put out this law. Come on. Amen. Because when you are born of God, his very nature. You see, maybe we have we haven't done a good job explaining to Justice Anthony what it means to be born again. We haven't done a good job explaining to the five justices what it means to walk with God. Not a religion now. But God living inside us. God by his spirit. God by his nature. Dwelling in us, oh God. The incarnation of Christ inside us. Peter said, the Lord God gave us promises. Precious promises, so that by them we become partakers of the divine nature. You tell me, Justice Anthony, if I am allowed by God to partake of his divine nature, and the divine nature hates homosexuality, why are you going to force me to approve what God hates? Oh, you all don't say amen also. Amen. Amen. You got to follow the reasoning. There is a reason in the spirit, and there is a reason in the flesh. Okay, they reason in the flesh. We are reasoning in the spirit. They don't know our God. We know Him. Amen. We are born of Him. He lives inside us. Yeah. All right. If He lives inside us, we are granted the right to partake of the divine nature. The divine nature is holy. The divine nature is love. The yeah. divine nature is righteousness. Yeah. The divine nature is, is truth. Yeah. So if God is true and God hates homosexuality and God lives inside us, how, Justice Anthony, why do you force yeah. us to renounce our God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Come on, Amen. Man. Because that's what they are doing. That's right, Zach. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. So the first amendment guarantees, however, the freedom to exercise, quote unquote, religion. Ominously, threateningly, ominous, ominously, that is not a word the majority uses to exercise. They don't use it. The freedom to exercise is omitted from their opinion that they put in to advocate and teach. <laughs> you, see, you see the slyness? Oh, come on now. Amen. Amen. This is what I was trained to do. I was trained to analyze people's thinking. Mm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. There are certain problems. Somebody writes something, we can pick out the key thoughts. From one word, you see where he's coming from. Yeah. This one word, this guy. This guy is a sly fox. They secretly omit the right to exercise and then they put in the freedom to advocate mm. and to teach. Mm. To exercise is different from not to advocate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Justice, uh, uh, Chief Justice Roberts says, ominously, that is not a word the majority uses. They don't use freedom to exercise religion. It says to advocate. Mm. Perhaps the most discouraging aspect of today's decision, said uh, Justice Roberts, Chief Justice, 
is the extent to which the majority, led by Anthony, feels compelled to sully or defile. The extent to which the majority feels compelled to sully or to defile those on the other side of the debate. They defile us. Amen. They speak evil about us. Okay. What do they do? The majority offers a cursory assurance that it does not intend to disparage or speak evil, to speak evil of people who, as a matter of conscience, cannot accept same-sex marriage. They just offer a lip service. Oh yeah, we agree with you. You know, no, oh yeah, we understand. A lying fox. He said that disclaimer is hard to square. What they said, oh yeah, if you are if you are a believer, you can you know you don't you don't want to approve of same self uh, uh, marriage. All right, we understand. Uh, you know, but hold on, hold on, lying devil. Mm -hmm. So that disclaimer, what they said, oh yeah, you all can do. That disclaimer is hard to square up with the very next sentence in which the majority explains that the necessary consequence, quote unquote, that's the very words of Justice Anthony, necessary consequence of laws codifying the traditional definition of marriage is to decode, to demean or stigmatize same-sex couples. So listen, oh, oh yeah, you can, you your can, you know, if you don't want to, you know, but hold on then, the next very line, your laws, your laws that you all promote for, for marriage, okay, it stigmatizes, okay, mm -hmm. and then it demeans homosexuals. Mm -hmm. that you see that? Oh yeah, yeah, we understand, you don't have to ask up to, oh yeah, right. but your laws, that defines same-sex marriage, it, it demeans and stigmatizes homosexual. So we don't want, want it. Mm. Hear me? The majority reiterates sex characterizations over and over. By the majority's account, Americans who did nothing more than follow the understanding of marriage that has existed for our entire history. These Americans have acted to lock out, quote and unquote, and disparage, quote and unquote, and disrespect and subordinate, quote and unquote, and inflict a, a, a dignitary wounds upon their gay and lesbian neighbors. So that's what we've done. <laughs> By our laws that define marriage, a mm -hmm. between a man and a woman, mm -hmm. we are inflicting wounds <laughs> on the homosexual. You know, you know, you know horrors. So something's coming down here. I'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'll tell you what. It is. <laughs> Amen. He says it is one thing for the majority to conclude that the Constitution protects a right to same the same sex marriage. It is something else said uh, Chief Justice uh, Roberts, it's something else to portray everyone who does not share the majority's quote and unquote, better informed understanding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anybody who doesn't uh, uh, accept them, okay, so it is one thing for the majority to con conclude that the Constitution protects a right to same-sex same, same marriage, mm -hmm. it is something else to portray everyone mm -hmm. who does not share the majority's better informed understanding, good and unquote, as bigoted. So those who don't accept the homosexual m marriage, we are bigots. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what Justice wow. Anthony and the majority say about us. Yeah. We are bigots. But hold on, hold on. If it was just about me alone, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know what I mean. But they are talking about God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. That is the danger yes. for them. <coughs> they are calling God bigot. Yes. They are calling
Collins, Justice Anthony, Justice uh, Breyer, Justice uh, uh, Sotomayor, Justice Kagan, Justice Ginsburg. Listen, this is what you have said. That God is a bigot. That's what he said. Because he told us exactly. that marriage is between a man and a woman. Amen. And we have believed our God. Now you call us who don't accept homosexual marriage, you call us bigots, therefore you call our God bigots. Yeah. Therefore the judgment of the Lord is upon the Supreme Court yes. for this blasphemy, Amen. for this insult, for this affront to your almighty God. Yes. And nobody has to help God. God can defend his name. Yes. God can defend himself. I don't need to help him. Come on. <laughs> so that is what is going to go wrong. Now, Acts. I told you, Acts. I'm going to finish, then we go. I'm going to show you something because you've got to understand. You've got to have an, a clear understanding yes. as to how you're going to conduct yourself. Yep. Okay? Yes. What you're going to do with this law? Because it's here, it, it has come. Yes. The That's devils have, have, have imposed it. Okay, so what are you going to do? All right. Uh, Acts chapter 3. Uh, Peter and, jo and, and John are going to the temple. They are going to pray. All right, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And you know what happened? There was a, a crippled guy at the beautiful gate. Amen. Okay, of the Solomon's temple. Right, and they healed that guy. Mm -hmm. All right, they healed him. And then a multitude of people, you know, come in there, all right, and, and all kinds of stuff happen. Okay? All kinds of miracles and all everything else, and he preaches good. Peter preaches to multitudes who have come because of that one miracle. Amen. All right? Okay. So they have continued to minister to the people as a result of that one miracle. Come to chapter 4, and then, then, and then we start. Okay. At the beginning of chapter 4, as they are ministering to the people, telling them about the things of Jesus, all right? As they speak unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they touched the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold. In hold means they put them in prison. Mm -hmm. They put them in jail now. Not if, I want you to follow right here now. They put them in jail. Okay? Until the next day. For it was a now evening. Right? So they are preaching Jesus. Mm -hmm. That is a wonderful miracle. And they are preaching the word of God. The Sadducees and the Pharisees, they are so mad. Okay, they are so sad they can't see. They are so so so, so far they can't see. So Sadducees means you are too uh, too sad you can't see, yeah. and Pharisees <laughs> means you <laughs> say too far. Uh, and uh, it describes just as and all of them. They are too far they can't see. They are too sad they can't know nothing about God and marriage. Mm -hmm. And yet they venture to make a decree. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. So they put them in jail there. All right. Now come on down here. Uh, he says, uh, the next day, right, he said, okay, uh, how be it many of them that heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000, right, okay, and they said, and Annas, and it came to pass, verse 5, on the morrow, the next day, that they are rulers, they are in jail now, right, they put them in jail, all right, he said, for the next day, then they come and, and talk to them. They are rulers and elders and scribes and honors and all the Supreme Court of the United States yeah. and uh, Anna the high priest and Justice Antony and all of them, Caiaphas, they all came some. <laughs> and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem at the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. That's where they, they, they gathered to hear what they would say. Right? And when they had set them in the midst, they asked Peter and the people, by what power 
That's the beginning of their troubles. They have already put them in jail now. And they have, they have brought them out. They're asking them, by what power? Yes, God. <laughs> oh, or by what name have you done this? What right do you have to do what you've done? Right? Then he says, then Peter, looking at the religious book, <laughs> look at this carefully because this has impact on what they did. Their behavior after from this from this point on, it depends on what happened to Peter before he answered. And Peter filled a masuka. <laughs> filled with the Holy Ghost, the amplifier said. Then Peter, because he was filled with and controlled by the Holy Ghost. Yes. See that? Mm -hmm. The same thing in, in Luke chapter 4. And Jesus, when he was baptized, and Jesus, full of and controlled by the Holy Ghost, yeah. was led. Mm -hmm. So here, now they have been threatened. Now they have been, they have been challenged. Now they are about to silence them. By what power? Or by what name can you tell us that marriage is between a man and a woman? I yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's what Justice Anthony asked. By what power, church folk? By what name can you tell us that marriage is limited only to a man and a woman? Then Peter, full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Full of and controlled by the Holy Ghost, said unto Justice Anthony and all the five, Ye Supreme Court rulers, <laughs> ye rulers of the Supreme Court, and elders that is in the White House. Oh, yes, God. <laughs> uh, and Elders of the White House. <laughs> if we this day be examined of the good deed done to this impotent man, by what means he is made whole? If we this day we are being challenged on the meaning of marriage, we are being compelled to renounce the definition of marriage and embrace all kind of perversion. We want you to know, Supreme Court of the United States, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> Brother, you can't preach good if you don't get Hebrew man laughing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> that means Holy Ghost is, is, is doing good. Amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Well, you can get a uh, Hebrew man to laugh good. Oh, my Amen. goodness. Thank you, Lord. You are doing something good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. If we this day be examined yeah. of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, be it known to all the Supreme Court, yes. and all of the United States, yes. that by the name of Jesus yes. Christ, yes. we resist Amen. this on this wicked law. Amen. Yes. Come on. By the name of Jesus Christ, we resist yes. and declare the law yes. of the homosexual marriage the law on abominable marriage and an offense unto God, therefore we shall not bow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank hey, you. Glory. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, no. Um, yes, thank you. Notice. Mm -hmm. Notice what is behind the declaration. The power of God. 
Peter didn't speak just by his own mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy Ghost. This is the Spirit of God talking through, through his vessel. Amen. Come and what Justice Anthony don't know, what the Supreme Court don't know, that the Spirit of the living God speaks through men. Yes, yeah. he does. Yeah. And we will dare to challenge the Supreme Court yeah. Yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And if they will not bow, we yeah. call down the fire yeah. of yeah. God's judgment yeah. because yeah. they are seeking to pervert the right ways of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yes. you, Lord God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Be known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you despise, Supreme Court, whom you despise, America, you despise Jesus. Homosexuals, you despise God. Yes. And by the name of God Almighty, this day we are declaring yes. that no one who is born of God yes. will ever bow to this wicked and immoral law. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Me, I have to go to jail. Praise and I'm willing to go there. Oh, I'll talk some tongues, brother. Amen. Amen. I'll yes. brush tongues. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You better get you, you better get Holy Ghost now. Yeah. If you want to stand against the Supreme Court, get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Because you need it. You need to pray in the Holy Ghost when you are in jail. Yes. Hey. Amen. Hey. Thank you. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. May God, you make him from my heart. Sexuals in, in, in particular. Amen. It is by his name, okay? Right? Whom God raised from the dead, even by him, does this man stand here before you whole. By the name of Jesus Christ, we say to the Supreme Court and to all the homosexual people that we will not bow nor compromise the truth Amen. of God. Yes. The truth of God is pure and simple. Yes. Marriage yes. is between a man and a woman. Amen. That's what God ordained. That's what we believe him. Yes. We are his children. We are born of him. And we are bound to honor the name of the Lord our God. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This is the stone which was set up not of you builders. Homosexuals are trying to build their life minus Jesus. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Supreme Court is trying to rule for a nation minus God, despises God, mm -hmm. and remove God from the equation. They impose their own mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, you know the story. Listen to this. The apostles land in jail and are threatened and commanded not to preach the gospel. Yep. Okay? And that's what we are dealing with. They are threatened not to preach the gospel. Let's see it. Yeah. All right? Okay, here. Ah, now, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they have been with who? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yes, you, see the, the, you see the reason yes. why they talk the way they talk? They have been with Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Has the church of Jesus Christ in America been with Jesus? Amen. Have the ministers of God, so-called ministers, have you been in Jesus? Have you been in his presence? No. Why then do you renounce him if you have yeah. been with him in his presence? Amen. You cannot Amen. renounce him if you have been with him. He says, Jesus. and beholding the man 
which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them, listen, they had commanded them to, you know, to go aside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them is manifest to all of them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we, we cannot deny it. We know. Yeah. We know what happened. Okay? But listen to their threatens. Because it's the same spirit that was in, in the first century, the same spirit is here. It hasn't changed. These wicked spirits that defy God, that threaten God's people, they are still alive. Yes. Yes. And that's what Injustice Anthony and those people. Yeah. It says here. Uh, but when they had commanded them to go aside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, All right, What shall we do to these men? But uh, for that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them, it's manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot de defy, uh, deny, but that is spread no further among the people, let us strictly threaten them. <laughs> we don't want them to preach. Amen. We don't want them. We don't want them to, 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 to affirm that marriage is between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. So let us impose on them something that will, that will force them to blaspheme. Mm -hmm. Let us impose this wicked rule over the believers. You know this thing was aimed at the believers? Yes. This, this a homosexual law, mm -hmm. it was passed to be a stumbling block to the believers. Yes. Yes. That is the very, very reason why God is going to judge these justices. Yes. Because they want believers to, not, you know, to fall. They are going to force them to, you know, to renounce Jesus. Because supposing you are a pastor, okay, you are not that strong in the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, you love your ribs more than Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the homosexual comes to your church and is trying to force you to, to marry him. And you say you ain't going to marry. That's the very reason why this, this, the Supreme Court passed this wicked law. That's why they, they, they ruled it like this. Because it will be a stumbling block to the many believers, to many pastors. Mm. Mm. Yes. That is why God will judge them for the wickedness of their hearts. For bringing forth this ruling. Yep. Supposing, supposing a believer is weak and he stumbles, yep. he is forced to compromise, and his conscience, you know, you know, is wounded and is tormented, and he ends up backsliding and falling away from Jesus Christ. Because of what Justice Anthony and the four henchmen oh. did by the law. This man falls by the wayside and don't follow Jesus no more. Ah, the judgment of God will be upon the Supreme Court more severe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Paul says, he said, yeah, do not judge about anything, but rather judge this, that no man puts a stumbling block in the pathway of his brother. Yes. And according to uh, uh, a rejoiner, the severest judgment that you can face at the judgment seat of Christ is the judgment of the stumbling block. Mm -hmm. One who caused others to fall yeah. by the wayside. Yeah. You see, I know that the Supreme Court did not think this thing through. Mm -hmm. they, 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 <laughs> Uh, they, they, it was cute just to push this thing, this radical, perverse, uh, perverse thing through, so that the homosexuals would say, "Rabbi, speak up, speak up, yeah, Rabbi, we are free." Ah, ah, God's judgment is at the door. Will somebody warn them that the judgment of God is coming upon the Supreme Court for this one wickedness? says here, but let us strictly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. Stop preaching, otherwise. 
stop your marriage stuff between man and a woman and embrace homosexual marriage. Embrace it. Accept it. That's what they are, that's what they are telling us. Just stop it. Don't preach no more. Don't keep on affirming marriage between a man and a woman no more. Marriage between a homosexual too. Ah, as the Lord God liveth, before whom we stand and in whom we live, we shall never keep affirming and uh, uh, never stop affirming that marriage is between a man and a woman. Amen. Amen. Never shall we stop declaring the truth. What Amen. God calls truth is what we call truth. Yeah. Right. Not Amen. what the Supreme Court says. Yeah. Right. Yes, amen. He says here, so let us threaten them. And then verse 18, and they called them and commanded them to speak, uh, not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what is they saying? Hey, we're going to threaten you now. You must affirm homosexual marriage or we put you in jail. Amen. That's where it's coming down to. So they did the same thing to Peter and John. Say, hey, don't speak in Jesus' name anymore. <laughs> right here. <laughs> this morning, I, 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 never, I, I, I never wrote this in my Bible. But you see, I told you over here, verse 8. Then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost, right? Mm -hmm. Then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay. Or I had the Holy Ghost, you know, left him. Uh, is, he, is, he, is, is he full still? Yeah. <laughs> the answer of Peter can come from the man full of the Holy Ghost. The answer he gave is from a man full of the Holy Ghost. He didn't speak out of his own mind like Justice Anthony and the five justices, you know, they wrote it out of their own mind. What Peter said is from the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. What Amen. Peter declared is the reaction and the action of all the sons of God that are filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. When we are forced to deny God and to approve of a wicked law, we say like the Holy Ghost in Peter said. But Peter, so I, <laughs> I wrote on, <laughs> on top of my, on my verse 19, Peter, I put an arrow there, still full of the HG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. still full of the HG. Amen. 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 The HG ain't gone. <laughs> Listen, I like it. I like the word and I'm happy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When Jesus was here, didn't he say, Almighty God? Didn't he say, when they bring you before the Supreme Court of the United States and you face Justice Anthony? Didn't he say that? <laughs> so when, <laughs> when they bring you before the, the Supreme Court of the United States, don't worry as to what you're going to say. Amen. 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 I don't worry as to what you're going to say. Amen. For at that time, it will not be you who will speak. But it will be the spirit of your father. Yes. Yes. So who is talking here? Who is talking? Is it Peter? Yeah. Or the spirit of his father God? Yeah. Yes. Most people who don't know the word of God and who don't know God, they don't see. Say, well, well, ain't no way, brother. Ain't no compromise. Yeah. Amen. Ain't no compromise with the truth of God. Yes. Ain't no denial. Of the fact that Amen. marriage is between a man and a woman. Yeah. Let it be announced yeah. and declared all across this nation. Yeah. Let all righteous believers yeah. arise and declare it. Yeah. We will yeah. not bow. Yeah. We will not surrender. Yeah. We will not compromise the truth yeah. of God's yeah. word. Let it be known to yeah. the Supreme Court. Amen. 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 But Peter and John listen to the Hebrew woman. He go out. He didn't say woman, he said man. Oh man. Whoa! 
but Peter oh, yeah. and John, yeah. full of the HG still. Yeah. 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 <laughs> As he answered and said unto them, unto Justice Anthony, unto Justice Sotomayor, unto Justice Breyer, unto Justice Ging uh, Ginsburg, unto yeah. Justice K K K K Peter, and all those like Peter who are born of God and filled with the Holy Ghost. <coughs> That is our answer. Yes, sir. When men force us to deny our faith, mm -hmm. to defy our conscience, and to approve an abominable law that offends God, mm -hmm. our answer is the answer of old. Mm -hmm. It's 2,000 yeah. years. He ain't Come changed. On. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Amen. Oh, yeah. my, my. <laughs> Peter said, I love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, oh, Holy Ghost in Come Peter. On. So whether it be right Come on. in the sight of God to hearken unto you, Justice Anthony, and the other four justices that back you, okay, more than unto God. Whether it is right for Christians to obey Justice Anthony. Come on. Rather than God, he said, you decide yourself, Mr. Right. Antonio. Amen. Amen. You decide. Yep. Amen. Says, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Mm -hmm. For we, as for us, we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. What did we hear? Amen. Haven't you read what Jesus said? Amen. That marriage, he that made, made, made man and a woman. Mm -hmm. In the beginning made a man and a woman, not two men. Amen. Therefore, what God has joined together, let Amen. no man put asunder. Amen. Anybody who accepts Jesus Christ comes to read this word. Mm -hmm. yes. Read the same word. He ain't changed. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has never changed. He has never. And will he ever say, all right, Sir Justice Anthony, since you are wiser than me, I come to bow at your feet, and I accept that your ruling is better than mine. Go! Justice Anthony, they are in trouble. Yes. I tell you, yeah. it is abomination. Yeah. It is wickedness. Yep. They should have left it alone. Right. If you don't know, say I don't know. Uh, Chief Rob, Chief Justice Roberts, uh, we, we can't take this now. No, no, we can't take it. It's too hard for us. Because we are going to stand against God now. We have no business going there. Let us leave it alone. Amen. 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 They thought, Amen. <laughs> they thought they were wiser than God himself. Oh. Amen. Says <laughs> here. So he said, then, well done. <coughs> For we cannot speak the things which we, we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go. Yes. Finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorify God for what? For that which was done. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, you say here, they, they continue. Remember the threatening. Mm -hmm. they, they were in jail for preaching. They brought them out and they threatened them again. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're, we're, we're jail now. Mm -hmm. Alright? And then they say, okay, okay, go. Now hold on, come here. They have told them, don't, don't preach no more now. Mm -hmm. Peter said, oh, what are you talking about? We're going to preach. Yeah. I know, we're going to keep on affirming that marriage is between a man and a woman. Amen. It will never be between a man and a man. No. Or a woman and a woman. Never. No. Right here. <laughs> See, after they do that, okay, some things happen. And then we come to chapter 5. Okay, miracles mm -hmm. happen. Okay, Ananias and Sapphira, okay, want to do some stuff, mm -hmm. some crooked stuff, and they die 
all right and 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 uh, and the apostles you know are growing in power yeah. but then, then we come to chapter 12 uh, and of verse 12 in chapter 5 yeah. okay they have threatened them i wrote something here preaching of the gospel or uh, preaching the gospel lands the apostles in jail but when they are released they pray for more power and boldness to continue to preach yeah. with signs and wonders yeah. and mighty miracles when they are let go they go and have a prayer meeting and the way he said, Lord, more Holy Ghost. <laughs> God, more miracles. God, power. Give us more power and more boldness to, de to refuse and deny these wicked men and to proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Savior. So the Holy Ghost came down. They were filled with the Holy Ghost again. And they pro proclaimed the word of God with boldness. They threatened them. But their answer, their reaction is more prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Brother, you will not get away from prayer. Right. right. With this new persecution coming, you won't get away. Prayer will be the path we're going to walk in. Amen. Prayer will be our strength. Amen. Prayer will be the way God is going to ordain for the church Amen. You know, to come pure. Amen. Because when pressure is building, you cry to God. Yeah. Amen. And God sends down the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Right here. So now they got more Holy Ghost. And now verse 12, chapter 5. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest, no man dared to join himself to them. But the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord multitudes, both men and women. Yeah. In so much that they brought forth the sick. Yes. Onto the street yes. and lay them on beds yes. and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Mm -hmm. There came also a multitude out of the cities, ran about you know, unto Jerusalem, mm -hmm. bringing sick folk yeah. and them which were vexed with unclean spirit, yeah. and yeah. they were all healed, yes. everyone. Yes. Yes. All right? More miracles. More preaching, more, more sanhedrin. Yeah. <laughs> more of just a <clears throat> Verse 17. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, so sad they can't see, and were filled with indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles. And put them in the common prison, Amen. public jailhouse. Amen. Why? For preaching? Amen. Why? For disobeying their order. Amen. Mm -hmm. Notice now, for disobeying what they said. Mm -hmm. They said, don't preach. Mm -hmm. They said, who oh, preach? Mm -hmm. We're going to believe, we're, we're going to obey God and preach His word. Right. Don't preach, we will preach. Mm -hmm. When the command of man, goes against the command of God, man is bound to obey God. Yes. <laughs> and disregard man's commands. Yeah. That's what they are doing here. They say, listen, they put them in the common j uh, jail. But, but what? But <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody said, but look at God, he's backing them, they are rebellion. No, 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 no. God is backing their so-called rebellion. Because the, the command they gave is an unrighteous command. That's right. Come on. And no man is bound to obey a wicked law. When God is commanding him to do otherwise. Right. But remember, when you disobey an unrighteous law, there will be judgment, there will be punishment. Right. Don't forget that. That's right. Come on. See, there are times obeying God will put you in, in, in trouble. Because you have to go against the established tradition. Right. Have to go against the, the, the rule of Justice Anthony. You have to say no. Like the woman in Kentucky. 
She said, no, in the name of God, I will not issue no marriage certificate. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Did they let her alone? No. no. They put her in jail. Did she fight? No, she went in jail. Why? She obeyed God. Yeah. And it is better to suffer rightly yeah. when you are honoring God yeah. than to suffer when you are a wicked man. Amen. See, Peter, see, I, I, I said, Lord, I tell you, I read it, Holy Ghost says, this Peter who disobeyed at my command who resisted the unjust law of the Sanhedrin is the same one who says, listen, it's better to suffer for righteousness sake. First Peter chapter 4 is in the Bible. Did Peter go to jail or not? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, come on. Did he go to jail or not? Yeah. Yeah. They were in jail. Yeah. Did they beat them or not? They beat them. They beat them. But they were happy. <laughs> Brother, when we are going to obey God, but be ready if your number is called. Be <laughs> ready. If Justice Anthony calls your number, <laughs> be ready to stand by say, Yes, sir, Mr. Anthony, I will not bow. I will not honor your decree, and I'm willing to go to jail. Amen. 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 See, you can never conquer the evil one unless by this route. Yeah. That's right. Holy. You are willing to obey God, right. honor yeah. God, and suffer. Yes. Yes. Then yes. God can yes. come yes. against the wicked one. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. So when multitudes begin to say, we will not compromise, we will not bow, we will yes. go to jail, it's going to confuse the whole system. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They are putting the righteous in jail because he ain't going to obey the wicked commandment. Mm -hmm. yes. Very soon, they cannot, they cannot countenance people who ain't done nothing wrong, but their conscience, so that their conscience will not be defiled, they disobey an unrighteous law, and you put them in jail? How long will you continue putting them in jail? Yes. Very soon, God will come down there and smite yes, yes. and smite the wicked yes. ones. Yes. That is how we overcome the evil one. Yes. By doing good in the sense of honoring God. Yes. 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 We, are, we are willing to suffer. Mm. We will not resist them when they come and, and arrest us. No, we will go to jail. Mm -hmm. Why? For the sake of my conscience, mm -hmm. I will not disobey God. I will not defile my conscience. I will not dishonor the name of the Lord God yeah. whom I serve. So I will bow. Yeah. Take me to jail. Yeah. But I will not surrender to you. Amen. Amen. That is what the apostles did. Amen. That is the attitude of the apostles. Amen. That is the, 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 the example that was set in scripture Amen. for all believers. Amen. So that they will not bow down to a wicked and abominable law. Amen. I don't want to disturb you at all. Yes. When you were reading, when you were reading uh, Isaiah 10, yes. how are those who write out evil writs yes. and compose iniquitous yes. documents? What happens? I have a slightly different version of the, of the Hebrew writings, and it says, "What will you do on the day of punishment? I am a ma -ma 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 -ma. When the calamity comes from afar, mm -hmm. to whom will you flee for help? Yes. And how?" Will you save your carcass? <laughs> oh my, my, the answer is there for them. Oh my, how are you going to save, save your, your carcass? carcass? Your dead body. Ah. Dead body. Mine, 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 mine. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Listen to this. But the, now, you see, you said they have put them in jail, right? Mm -hmm. Right here. They put them in jail. Oh. But the angel of the Lord, yes. by night, opened the prison doors yes. and brought them forth and said, who said that? Angel. The Lord of God sent this angel. He said, listen, I love this rebellion. I love this. <laughs> they are obeying me instead of submitting to wicked men. 
Okay, so go in down there and go and bring them out. Okay. I am my son. Yes. Go and bring them out. Yes, God. They ain't done no wrong. Yes. It is the wicked men who have sinned against yes. me. Yes. 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 Hey. My Lord. Jesus. He said, go. He, the angel of the Lord came and they said, go and stand and speak in the temple to the people. All the words of this life. <laughs> what are you saying? That's how you are. Peter said, uh, Angel, they said, We love you. But you heard the Sanhedrin. They want us now. You saw the guy with the big beard. You saw the one. Yeah, we scared of him. But we don't want to go back. Let us stay in jail. Then you know the Lord said, Man, go out there. Go, go, go blast some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> go out there and go and blast. Amen. Go out there and go and declare my name. Yeah. All the words of this life. Yes. This new life, this Holy Ghost life, yes. go out there and declare it to the people. Yes. 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 And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning. And they taught. <laughs> but the high priest, you always have but. You always have but. When you are preaching the truth and disobeying the devil, they will always have bat following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But just as Anthony said, oh, he ain't said nothing. <laughs> but the high priest came, and they that were with him, and called the council together, and all the senators of the children of Israel, and yeah. sent to the prison to have them brought out. Yeah. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, the prison truly we found shut with all safety. And the keepers standing outside before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. I am a mama. Thank you, Lord. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this will go. <laughs> Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the man whom ye put in prison, the man who you ruled and told them not to affirm homosexual, no, no, not to affirm homosexual marriage. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they are declaring that marriage yeah. is between a man and a woman. Yeah. And they are disregarding the Supreme Court law. They are standing in the temple and teaching them the, the people. Then went the captain and the officers and brought them without violence mm -hmm. for they feared the people lest they should have been stoned. Now notice this now. See, in obedience to God, you don't resist when they come for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Notice, as you are obeying God mm -hmm. in defiance of the Supreme Court on just and wicked law, mm -hmm. as you obey God and they come for you, and they put you in there, you don't resist. Amen. You go in there and yeah. go and suffer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? It is better to suffer for righteousness sake. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yes. To keep your conscience clean Amen. than to do some wicked stuff and then suffer for it. Amen. Amen. When they come for you, don't resist. You don't resist the power. Right. You don't resist government in the force because they, 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 they are heartless. Mm -hmm. They have no heart. Right. When you deny you resist the devil, he gets enraged. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So for your safety sake, you are doing this for God's sake. Yes. To uphold the truth of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Not for yourself, but to honor his name. Yes. So when they come to dishonor you, you just honor God by a right conduct. Yes. You hear me now? Mm -hmm. Amen. Honor God, sanctify the Lord God in your heart, in your amen, attitude. Amen, amen. Okay? Yes, if you're going to suffer, suffer with a clean attitude. Yes. For God's sake. Amen. Glory. Don't you rebel when they come for you because you broke the law. Mm. That's right. Remember that. When you are disobeying an unrighteous law so that you can uphold the truth of God's word to the righteous law. Amen. Okay? They will come for you. Yeah. They will seek to punish you. Yeah. 
because it is the law that they that they put forward. Mm -hmm. Okay? But those who know God know better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we disobey it for the sake of our conscience. Mm -hmm. For the sake of the Lord God. Yeah. When they come for us, we don't resist them. All right, we'll go to you. We'll go with you in a jail. Put her in jail. I don't, I don't know what you're going to do. Don't put us in jail. I'm happy. I'm obeying God still. Yeah. Yeah. And honoring God still. Knowing that for the sake of the Lord Jesus, I have you know, gone this route. Yes. Then you allow God now. When you don't resist them. Then you allow God now to deal with them. You go, you, you go yeah. to jail, you don't go to jail and, and be silent. You go to jail and talk in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. You go to jail and praise God. Yeah. You go to jail and thank God. Yeah. And you are willing you know, to stay there as long as yeah. God will allow. Yes. Not what they allow, God. Yeah. But God can turn it around just in a day and bring you yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Okay, so you don't go there and complain. You go there and just worship God. Yeah. And bless yeah. God. Yeah. And rejoice. Yeah. And yeah. ask for a Bible. Yeah. And ask for a hymn and sing some songs of praise. It will be your midnight. It will be your midnight. As it was the midnight for Paul and Silas. But at midnight, at midnight, I will arise and give praise and give praise So he says here, and when they had brought them before the Sanhedrin, they set them for the council, and the high priest asked them again, saying, did we not strictly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Did we not tell you not to affirm homosexual, uh, not to say that uh, marriage is between a man and a woman, but to affirm homosexual marriage too? Did we not tell you that? Well, let's see what Peter said. What the, now, he, he ain't no Holy Ghost now. He said, no, 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 not lost Holy Ghost. Because they got some, some revival. They went to prayer meeting. Holy right. Ghost came down, gave them double dose. Amen. So now... Yeah. <laughs> Holy, Holy Ghost. Again, they had Holy, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, I know it had God. Holy, Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, yes Oh, my goodness. Shall we go home or what? Hold on, we go home. We hold on. Let me finish this. He says here, Ah, uh, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God. Rather than men, have they bowed down? No. How can they bow down when they know God? That's right. Amen. When they, they are full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. How can they deny Jesus? Amen. How can they say they won't go and talk about Jesus? Amen. How can you say you will not affirm marriage as being solely between a man and a woman? Amen. And you're going to give room to homosexual marriage? Amen. There is nothing like homosexual marriage in the annals of God's creation. Right. Amen. Amen. There is nothing like that. It does not exist since God created the world Amen. and created man and a woman. Yes. It is a wickedness from the devil. Yes. Amen. It is something that the devil perpetrates on man yes. because he wants to destroy man in hell. Amen. Amen. You cannot affirm that. I warn you. He says here, we, Peter said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Yeah. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew and hung on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. And we are his witnesses mm -hmm. of these things. And so also is the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are witness that what we are doing is of God. God commanded us, and the Holy Ghost of God Himself is with us. Amen. Amen. Listen to what He says. He 
It says here, when the trouble was coming, then Gamaliel, I won't read all that, Gamaliel comes out, the one who raised up Paul, who taught Paul uh, how to be a rabbi. He studied under Gamaliel. Gamaliel is one of the Sanhedrin people. So Gamaliel said, hey, God, God, hey, guys, listen. Uh, be careful what you do with these men. Mm -hmm. For some years ago, uh, ago a guy called Tudash, he rose up among us. He got a lot of people behind him, and it was just a, a seven-day wonder. He perished, and everybody was scattered. Mm -hmm. Then after him arose, you know, Judas. Mm -hmm. You know, Judas also came in, and you know, he also had the people following them, following him, and, uh, and then he also perished. The people were scattered. So be very careful what you do with this man. If this work is of God, yes. well, then now you cannot stop it. Yes. Amen. Amen. You cannot stop it. Okay, be very careful that you don't you, you, you don't you know, fight against God. Right. And that is exactly what the Supreme Court is doing. That's right. They are fighting against God. Yes. Yes. It is not with yeah. men. They did not do this for men. They did this was strictly against God. Yeah, they agree. chose to ignore the truth of Scripture. Mm -hmm. The truth of God's Word. So that they can affirm their own perversions. So this, this is what this is what uh, uh, Gamaliel says, verse thirteen. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Amen. For if this counsel or if this work, be, <laughs> if this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Amen. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against God. Yes. Mm. yes. And that is exactly what this homosexual law is all about. Mm. Fighting against God. Yes. They have found yes. in the person of the Supreme Court, the five justices, you know, you know, people who will do their bidding and give them the right yes. that they don't have. There is no right in the Constitution of the United States that, that, that gives homosexual a right to marry. There is nothing in the Constitution. Nor is there anything in the, in the revealed will of God. No. The scriptures didn't come from man. Holy men spoke as they were moved along by the Holy Spirit. So it is not man that Justice Anthony, Justice Breyer, Justice Sotomayor, Justice Ginsburg, and Justice Kagan. It's not against man that they are fighting. It is against God they have done this evil. So when you are going to fight them and resist against what they, are, they have done, you have to have a clean attitude. Yes. So that you uphold the integrity of the Lord. Amen. Of the Lord God in your conduct. When you are resisting them, you resist them in meekness. You tell them, I'm sorry, I cannot. My faith does not allow me, yep. you know, yeah. to recognize this. Yes. Now, I know you passed the law, but I know what God says. Yes. Yes. Amen. So I'm here. If you want to punish me, I'm willing to go and be, well, be punished. Come on. You want to find me? If I have the money, I'll pay. I don't have the money, I'll go to jail. But I cannot defile my conscience. That's right. Yeah. I cannot, you know, deny my God. Amen. You are forcing me to deny God. Amen. But my God will take care of me. Yes. And my God will deal with you. Amen. Yes, Lord. That's all. You speak, uh, you speak with authority and then say, take me to jail. Take me wherever you want to take me to. Amen. Are you hearing me now? Yeah. This is what believers' yeah. attitude has to be. In the presence of this wicked law, uh, it's up to you. If you know God, I don't see how you say you know Jesus Christ and love him and you deny him mm. on what he said marriage is all about. Amen. And yet you say, I love Jesus, I want to go to heaven. <laughs> Did he not say, he that has my commandment, is not the commandment of God? Mm. Is marriage not a commandment of God? Not an ordinance of God. Amen. He that has my word and keepeth them, he it is that loves me. Yes. So if you say you love God, you keep my commandments. Yes, but you say I love you. 
But I don't want to honor your name when I'm being forced to deny. Okay, let's see what happened. Then we go. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's come to the end. It's so right here. Uh, but if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Less happily, he be found even to fight against God. And to him, to Gamaliel, all right, they all agreed. And when they had called the apostles and, and uh, given them fellowship dinner, no. <laughs> <laughs> give us some bar barbecue chicken. <laughs> Look at what they did to them. When they had called the apostles and beaten them, beaten, punished them by, stri by stripes, Amplify said they flogged them. Beating them, they still commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus. And then they let them go. <laughs> and so when they went, they were quiet. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me conclude, then I get you okay. up. <laughs> Listen to this. And they departed from the presence of the council. Right? Oh. Weeping. No, 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 no. They beat them. They, they laid lashes on their back. Mm -hmm. yes. And what did they do? Praise they threatened them. They tried, uh, 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 Sanhedrin, I'll get you next time. You beat me. You know <laughs> Brother, the Bible says when Jesus, okay, when he suffered, he threatened the Lord. Right. Ah, yeah. oh, my, my, my. The just suffered for the unjust. Yes, yes. Amen. The righteous suffered for the wicked. Yes. That he might bring us to God. Yes. All right? And when you are threatened, when you are threatened, you threaten back. When they smite you, then yeah. <laughs> that's a raging bull. <laughs> you want to go and strike Jesus Antonio. What are you talking about? They will punish us for disobeying. Okay? Because when, when you, you break a law, there is punishment. Whether the law is good law or wicked law. But this law is a wicked law. Because it forces us to affirm something that is contrary to our faith. Yes. Yes. To affirm that homosexual marriage is something that is sanctioned by God is to deny God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. So if you deny God, whose heaven are you going to? The devil's heaven? Or a homosexual heaven? <laughs> That is why we cannot, Amen. we cannot accept this law. Amen. That's right. Okay? We, we, it's impossible to accept because you defy your conscience. Amen. You defy your spirit. Amen. You accept a lie. Yes. You accept a lie. Amen. And this life is not built on a lie. No. No. This life with God is built on truth. Yes. Yes. This is not truth. Mm -hmm. They are not telling us to obey truth. They are telling us to obey a lie. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So woe be to that pastor that will force his people to recognize this. Amen. 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 So they departed. Alright? Uh, I said, and they, they uh, over here, here. Uh, uh, from the presence of their, their council, <coughs> rejoicing that they were counted worthy yes. to suffer shame for his name. To suffer shame for his name. Listen, listen to the testimony of the word of God. Under the Apostle Paul. Testimony of the word of God. Listen to what he says here. Listen to the testimony. He says here. For unto you it is given. I am a ma, 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 ma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, for unto you. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Amen. Amen. In this world you shall have tribulation. You will be forced 
to go against your faith. Amen. But be of good cheer, yes. for I have overcome the world. Yes. Amen. Alright, so he said here, they who were rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Now listen, I, I like the last verse, I conclude the last verse. And daily, didn't they tell you not to preach? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they beat them. They said, don't, don't preach no more now. Amen. But daily, yes. <laughs> in the temple, yes. and in every house, <laughs> now it's open now. <laughs> now the air is open, brother. Yes. Now all you can do is beat us. <laughs> all you can do is lock us up in jail. That's all. But we will be on to you if you release us. We'll go preach. <laughs> Amen. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Amplified said, yet in spite of the threats, in spite of the threatenings, they never cease for a single day, both in the temple area and at home, to teach and to proclaim the good news gospel of Jesus as the Christ Amen. and the Messiah. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me now put in my, my little note together for you. Amen. I said, doing in chapter 5, I wrote down here, once again, the apostles are arrested again for obeying God and preaching the gospel and brought before the council, the Sanhedrin. But once again, the apostles disobeyed the unlawful, the unlawful command of the Sanhedrin in order to obey God. Amen. They disobeyed the unlawful, unrighteous command of the Supreme Court in order to uphold the truth of God and obey Him. Right? As a note, for disobeying, disobeying the Sanhedrin in order to obey God, the apostles are flogged and beaten and threatened sternly not to speak and teach about Jesus. Amen. Note again, in spite of the beatings and threats, they rejoice and keep on preaching and teaching daily. Yes. May God help us. Yes. May God help each one of us. Yes. To understand what our responsibility is in the face of this wicked law yes. that is threatening to force us to blaspheme That's right. against God and to deny what God has joined together, Amen. to deny what God says is truth. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. So, brother, if you deny God, if I deny God, if the church <coughs> denies God, then who will uphold the truth of God on earth? Amen. Yes. Right. Then it means that the devil rules all over all of us. That's right. that the reason why you cannot afford not to obey God. Amen. Amen. You affirm it, you declare it, Amen. that marriage will ever and has ever been between a man and a woman in the eyes of God. Amen. What they have done is abomination and we will not accept it. Yes, Lord. If you are a pastor and you have a church and homosexuals say they want to come on in there, brother, you take a stand and say, listen, I will not perform this marriage because I will go to hell if I deny my yes. God. Right. I will be damned if I deny God. If I cannot stand and say, yes, God created man and a woman, not a man and a man and a woman and a woman. Are you here? Amen. Uh, what do you want to say now? Say what you have. There you go. Oh, uh, when you said they were witnessing. Witness, don't forget, witness comes from the word martoria in Greek. It yes. means martyr. Martyr, yes, Are you God. willing to martyr your witness? Mm. Martyr yourself. Yeah, martyrdom. Martyrdom goes with a witness. Yes. Because if you witness, they may kill you. Right, exactly. Amen. They may imprison you. Look at Paul. Yeah. What did he suffer? Yeah. Because Paul was being forced to deny the truth of the gospel Amen. and affirm circumcision. Amen. Amen. 
He said, I will never affirm circumcision as part of the gospel. Yes. Did he suffer? Yes. Oh, you yes. bet he suffered. Yes. That's why the Jews were after him everywhere he went. Yes. yes. So I pray that we will be faithful Amen. until death. I don't know what will come to each one of us. But we know the truth now. Yes. By the grace of God, I have tried to present it clear for you to understand, brother, the example is set in stone in the scriptures. Yes. The word of God does not change. If a law is wicked, it's a wicked law that forces you to deny your faith. You have no business upholding that law. But if you violate that wicked law, remember they will punish you. Because they don't fear God and they don't know God. They will do it because of God. They will kill you. All right? They may kill you. They may put you in jail. But you stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. For your reward yes, is in heaven is yeah. great. Crown yeah. of glory. Amen. Yeah, Amen. crown of glory is laid up there for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise. What an amazing God. Yes, what a good God you are. You have set things so clear for us. So Father, we thank you. We bless your name. May this word, oh God, Father God, go throughout this life. I don't know how you do it, but I don't know because you are God. But you find a way to let this word be propagated, be spread all over this nation. I thank you for the Holy Ghost. I thank you for the spirit of truth for the spirit of revelation. I thank you for your grace and mercy. Now, Father, mm. strengthen your people. Yes. Those here and those on gotomeeting.com. Yes. Father God, they have heard the truth of God. No one can say he didn't know. No one can say I wasn't taught or I wasn't told. No one can say I didn't know how to conduct myself. Now the word of God is clear. Now the testimony of Jesus has been affirmed. Mm in your presence, in your ear. Yes. So Father, I thank you for upholding the truth of your word. Yes. Father, the word of God comes from you. Yes, Lord. And the word of God shall be sustained by you. Yes. Because you uphold yes, all things by the power of your word and by the word of your power. Yes. So Lord, we commend ourselves to you. Yes. Watch over us yes. and give us grace. Yes. When that evil day comes, we'll be able to stand. And having done all to stand, I thank you for your children. I thank you for your church. I thank you for your people, for the pastors, men of God, who will be faithful to you. Give them grace. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.